Hello, I'm Holly from the A Plus team at Antares, the place to improve your English and in this category of our videos to hear about current events. The words in green in the text below are explained in the description underneath the video. Today's current event is about tax scams. It's about that time in France to file tax returns. This also means that it's about time for scammers to make their move on taxpayers. Three types of scams have officially been identified, which not only concern individuals, but also companies. The first scam is on fake websites. The websites pretend to belong to the Public Finance Department, the DG FIP, showing the proper logos and some valid information. However, the websites list false telephone numbers to contact for information. These telephone numbers are overtaxed. They begin with 0899 or 0891. Do not fall into this trap. This is not a real telephone number. And word to the wise, look for spelling mistakes in the text. An official website will never have mistakes. The second scam involves emails. You may receive an email with, once again, the correct seals. Often it is to inform you that the Public Finance Department will reimburse money directly to your account once they have your credit card details. Giving your credit card details is a terrible mistake. In this case, the con artist will then use your credit card and spend your money. The DGFIP will never ask for your credit card number. Oh, and if you have doubts about the sender, click on the email address. You will probably see that this is a false address. The last type of scam happens on the telephone. Sometimes the taxpayer calls a fraudulent telephone number found on a website. Other times the individual is contacted directly by an imposter. This spoofing technique can even display your bank's telephone number. In both cases, a swindler pretends to be an advisor to warn you that your bank account has been infiltrated or to offer false assistance in making a bank transfer for your taxes. In both cases, asking for your credit card number and of course the security code. When in possession of this information, the swindler has the green light to empty your bank account. Once again, never give your credit card number on the telephone. In France, the deadline for your tax return by post is May 19th, 2022. If you filed your taxes online, the date depends on your geographical location, but in any case is later than May 19th. For the online tax returns, it is best to go directly to the website by typing www.impots.gov.fr. So, to sum up, be on the lookout for scams. Of course, you can leave us questions or remarks in the comments below. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for being with us today. Don't forget to watch our next video. Take care and see you soon. Bye.